Michigan, the first team to go from the top five of the AP rankings all the way out of the rankings in just one week since 1968. By now, you know why. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz. Glad to be with you on the Toyota College Preview Show, exclusively here on CBSSports.com. We're breaking down 1-0 Oregon and a team that head coach Lloyd Carr says has to start from scratch, that being the Wolverines. And for more on the Week 2 matchup, we bring in Spencer Tillman from Houston, as we will every week. And Spence, let's start right there. What does that mean for Michigan to get back and start from scratch? Well, it's all about the fundamentals, and it's running the football, classic Big Ten style, getting Michael Hart on the ground running. He's got the ding with the thigh bruise, so we're not quite sure how effective he's going to be, although he was effective in the second half against Happy State last week in the opening loss. But that's the key for them. They've got to be fundamental, and I think they've also got to get off to a very fast start. And I think uh, University of Houston showed them the way last week. Anthony Aldridge, their running back, ripped Oregon for 205 yards, and so I think that's going to be uh, the map. That's what you've got to follow beginning with Michael Hart. Well, let's get into the defensive aspect of this thing because Michigan's defense was torn up by Armani Edwards. Yeah. Now they face Dennis. Same spread offense and is just as good, if not better at it. Uh, he ran the ball well last week, threw the ball last week. How does Michigan stop Dennis Dixon? Well, it's going to be difficult. He's a dual threat. I think he wind up running for, uh, what, 135 yards, passing for 141 or reverse that. Uh, he was very productive, and that's what, at the end of the day, they've got to be concerned about. You know, Ron English, the defensive coordinator for Michigan, probably stayed one year too long, Jason, in my opinion. He needed to get out of there. It's one thing to have to replace one All-American in your secondary, but this guy had to replace two. And so you can clearly see now the signs of beginning to wear on that secondary. And so he's got to be able to step that. And, of course, the dual threat is going to threaten him again for the second consecutive week they've got to respond defensively. Spencer, it's that same offense that's killed Michigan time and time again. Ohio yeah. State ran it the last year to 42 points and it's the spread offense that Oregon mm -hmm. runs. Can they stop it? Well, I don't know if you can stop it again, and this is part of a bigger story on the landscape of college football. I just finished writing a piece about it. I'm calling it the globalization of college football. Indeed, the college football world has become flat, and the culprit is, of course, the spread offense. When you've got skilled athletes at that slot outside receiver position, of course, the running back, however you deploy them, when those guys are classic speed guys and you've got zero coverage, no secondary coverage, all it takes is one guy to make you miss. So it goes back to what Switzer said to me years ago. He said, Spencer, I'll take speed and quickness over size and strength any day and we have the, the spread offense to thank for that that one guy for Oregon maybe Jason Williams the wide receiver yep. on the outside all right the Ducks haven't ventured to the eastern time zone since a 27 20 loss also in the state of Michigan but it was in East Lansing and that was to Michigan State back in 1999 did they leave the Great Lakes State in 2007 with a loss as well well, I'm, I'm torn on this one because when you set such lofty goals like Michigan has, I mean, let's face it, their objective was to win the national championship. They've since recalibrated and now it's the Big Ten championship. But I've got to believe that there's going to be emotional letdown. Yes, they're at home and the big house, but at the end of the day, I don't think they'll have that edge unless they score early and get back to the fundamentals. I think it'll be much closer than anyone thinks, making it very hairy and difficult for Lloyd Carr. I'm looking at a 21-14 to 14 kind of affair. Uh, Michigan will win it, but only by a touchdown. I think it'll be a little bit more high scoring than that, but I agree with I think Michigan will win this one as well. All right, thanks a lot, Spencer. We'll get back to you with more uh, college football knowledge in just a bit. All right, Jason, we'll see you, my friend. All right, folks, there you have it, a breakdown of Oregon and Michigan. Wolverines have given up 108 points the last three games. Can they stop that Oregon squad that scored 48 in week one? We will find out. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. For more on this game or the rest of week two in college football, keep it right here, cbssports.com. Take care.